Fox Carolina First Alert Weather Day update. Yeah, I might be able to handle the 78 until bedtime. That's when I need it cooler. So I feel like, I don't know. But it's, uh, yeah, it's still it's still a tough one. Uh, and this studio can sometimes be a little tough, too. I keep cool, too. Uh, it's a good day today, though. We're looking at spotty showers across the area south of 85. We've had a little light rain near Abbeville. Spotty light rain in the mountains. But overall, it's just been cloudy with some sprinkles. Not much measurable rain. We need it. Temperatures ranging in the 80s. Look at that. 84 in Clemson, 85 in Powdersville. This time yesterday, we were in the upper 90s. So big difference out there. 84 in Spartanburg, 77 in the Asheville area. So next 24 hours, we're looking ahead to temperatures falling tonight into the 70s and 60s, very similar to the last few mornings. But we ought to have more sunshine tomorrow morning, not as cloudy, uh, but there'll still be some clouds in the mix. If we're taking the kids to the pool in the afternoon, upper 80s expected, uh, and there will be a chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm, but not until late in the day. So you should be mostly dry through much of it. Our next big thing is going to be that in intense heat that we have coming this upcoming weekend. Saturday and Sunday, we're expecting heat index values over 100. Sunday could be the hottest of the days as we look at potentially up to 104 and I can't even rule out of 105, 106 uh, during the two, three, four o'clock hours on Sunday and could even see that on Saturday as well. Now we're also tracking the tropics and we're keeping an eye on a couple of systems, but one that has a much higher chance than the other. This one in the Caribbean expected to move over toward Mexico, low chance of development. But what we've got in the open Atlantic waters is a system that's getting organized, has a 70% chance of development over the next several days. Our spaghetti models, each line indicates a different computer model in very good agreement taking this through the into the Caribbean south of uh, Hispaniola and then eventually moving it up toward Cuba. Now it'll be one to watch to see if it can survive. It does look like it may run into a more less favorable environment once it gets into the Caribbean, but could become a hurricane if some of the models be verify. So this is one going to be again one to watch. It's a tropical wave right now, but not considered an organized tropical system just yet. Doesn't have a name yet, but could in the next few days. We will keep an eye on it for you. This weekend, first alert weather days, Saturday and Sunday. Next week, only small rain chances. In fact, I don't think you're going to have any rain outs for those 4th of July festivities. Uh, temperatures warming up into the mid 90s in the mountains, watching for afternoon showers and storms Friday through this weekend. Well, but not enough to cancel outdoor plans. Just keep an eye out. And then only small rain chances next week as that intense heat returns just in time for Independence Day. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert Weather app by scanning that code on your screen. We'll keep you posted on the forecast for your fireworks, festivities, and everything else. Uh, so just be sure to get it on your phone by scanning that code. Now let's get some First Alert traffic.